Hey everybody, it's Jason here, doing a little bit of a uplighting project. Uh, programming these suckers. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a chase mode and slow color fades and a few other things. Got my little DMX controller there, and yeah, let me turn some bright light up real quick. And my DMX cheat sheet. Most lights when you buy their product they'll include this binary address quick reference chart and this particular controller works in multiples of eight as far as eight channels per channel if that makes any sense or that eight individual functions per channel but uh, you get the point I'm gonna be going through and See. Show you what each channel looks like. Show you that they all do a little something different. With doing it like this, it is slightly more complicating as far as getting it to do what you want it to do. It takes a little bit more time, but the outcome is pretty good. And with this particular controller, I can hit group, and I can select them all at the same time. Then if I want to make any quick adjustments, why ain't that one? There we go. Sometimes uh, when you're messing with these DMX controllers, you got to wake up each individual channel just to get it to response. You got to just kind of fiddle around with it. Why it's like that, I don't know. But that's just the way it is. Alright, I'll show you guys a little bit more when I'm done screwing around with this. Alright, I just got done making my basic program. Uh, it's a 99 step program. It's recorded as a show. Um, this particular controller has up to four shows. I just got one right now. I got my old show inside there, which was just a slow color fade. Because um, these particular palettes don't have the slow color fade. Um, the color strips are on its own channel here. I got those set at a sound active. So if I tap on the floor, that's what they'll do. This particular show that I made, I have it on tap. So every time the built-in microphone on here, hear sound, um, bass, that's when something different will happen. Now the color strips those have a built-in microphone so do these but those got pretty good programs inside those so I'll just let them do their own thing when the music's playing but these are here I'm gonna have these chase and strobe and do some other pretty cool stuff so I'm gonna tap this and it's gonna run through its 99 cycles just to show you what I came up with This part is pretty cool right here. This is I changed the uh, setting on it um, to use its microphone on the pallets. I'll go back, go back through the program. Yes, this is time consuming doing this, but the outcome is pretty cool. Each one of these pallets are on its own DMX channel, so you got to try to figure out your dip switches, which you got to use that cheat sheet. Alright, I'll show you my scenes in a second. The scenes are just a one step program where you can hit the button and it'll just stay one solid color or if it's in sound mode on the particular light you can have it do that but um, this I'm going to have to peel these off this is my old programming but I like to have just one one color go for like slow dances I'll hit blue or you know something else different you know solid red 
But I'll show you those once I get those programmed. Okay, I got my scenes programmed. Here's just blue, all of them. White, which is insanely bright. Red, and kind of a, a strobe, just a strobe. These are just one step programs. Change it. All right, now I'm gonna do another color fade, slow color fade. Okay, just got done programming my slow color fade up lighting effect. This will just kind of run to nearing um, like cocktail hour or something. But here's the uh, colors that it produces. Got kind of a hot spot there. We've got four, four of them suckers together, so it kind of makes a real bright spot right there. But if you look at the outer color, that's what most people see. There it goes a little bit more. I got the between each time I hit record it it goes about three and a half seconds per per next step now I can put this in sound active if I wanted to it's pretty simple just hit tap or preview and then this can run in sound mode That's it's nothing but just a regular show program. And that's how I got the other one. Okay. Turn that off. Get that going. And that's my program. Color strips start up. I would run some music, but the kids are sleeping, and, and I really don't want to wake them up. I think this will look pretty cool. Alright, practice and enjoy.